Layers don't have to be created just from the background or just blank. So you can create new layers in a number of ways. I'm going to reset. Oh, there we go. Um, I was going to reset my workspace because layers had disappeared, but I wasn't actually in Photoshop. Um, you can actually create layers from a selection. And so there are lots of selection tools, and we'll cover them in detail um, during our selections and mask thing lecture, which is part of module three. But for now, I'm just going to grab the lasso tool, which is the third one down on the tools panel. And if you didn't watch other videos, some new versions of Photoshop have restructured the tools panel. And if you can't find the tool you're looking for, you can come to the bottom and press on these three, press and hold on these three dots, and it will launch kind of a flyout that has all of the missing tools that you may be having trouble finding. So I'm going to grab the lasso tool. If you don't know what one the lasso tool is, you can hover over the tools till you find it. And you may have the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, the magnetic lasso tool. If you can find one of those, you can push and hold on it until you get this fly out menu and you do want to choose the lasso tool. It's just one way to select images or portions of an image. And now if I made a selection, let's say of this guy's head, I'm just going to do something with it for some reason. Um, you could copy this, edit copy. Oh, make sure you're on a layer, so I want to be on the background layer. If I copy this, edit copy or command or control C on your keyboard, and then I select layer 1, I could choose edit paste and it would paste a copy of that layer. Now I'm going to turn the little eyeball off on these other layers so you can see that that layer only has the head on it. Because I copied it, I still have the head on the background copy layer, but now I have a copy of it or a duplicate of it on its own layer. Um, you could choose, if we undo this, you could choose edit cut. Whoops, make sure you're actually on a layer. And then I created a hole in the image and now if I choose layer one and choose edit paste, um, I will paste that content onto the new layer. I'm going to switch to the very top tool in the tools panel. It's the move tool. And then you could, I guess, in theory, try to move this back into place. It would be kind of hard to get it perfect. Like, even right now, it's not perfect. It's kind of close. There we go. Oh, no, the top's off. Um, I don't think that's a good idea because we're always trying to practice non-destructive editing. And so I would err on the side of copying as opposed to cutting. So copy. Oops, edit copy, and then paste onto its own layer. Now that's kind of a lot of legwork. You got to move the mouse around a lot. If we undo that and I have a selection, you can actually right click on the selection, make sure you have a layer selected, and you can right click. Let's go back to our selection tool. You can right click on the selection and you can say make a copy, make a layer via a copy, or make a layer via cut. And so if I choose, you know, copy, it's going to make a duplicate layer. If I choose cut, it's going to leave a hole in the background copy layer. So when I did that, I had this extra layer here, layer 1, but now I don't need it because layer 3 contains the copy that I made. Some other ways that you can make layers that I didn't talk about are you could add text to your document. You can grab the type tool and when you click, it automatically makes a text layer. And you can automatically create layers that way. You can also make shapes if you try to use the pen tool or the shape tool down here and you click and drag, that will automatically make its own shape layer as well. We're not going to talk about text or shapes until chapters 19 and 20. Or, correction, we're not going to talk about them in great detail until chapters 19 and 21. Um, but for now, you should know that they, they create layers. You can create layers using a shape tool or the text tool.